Hello and welcome back to this channel. I hope you're having a good day. And in this video, we're gonna be exploring Uppsala in Sweden. Uppsala has a long history that dates back over a thousand years. It was an important town for Vikings. And today it's also one of the biggest towns of Sweden, mainly known for its big university that was founded in the 15th century. Today we're gonna have a look around, see the main sites of Uppsala and discover what this city is all about. We're starting off this day in Uppsala with a visit to the Uppsala Cathedral. It was built in the 13th century and it's actually the tallest church in all the Nordic countries in Europe. For a long time it was used as the place of coronation for the kings of Sweden. Let's go and have a look inside. I've mentioned in the intro that Uppsala has a long tradition of university and that can totally be seen by the main university building here not far from the cathedral at all. As you enter it feels like a temple or the Ministry of Magic. Once you step inside I advise you to go up the stairs and have a look around the gallery there. They have some beautiful statues and you get a better look at the roof as well. I'm now at the castle of Uppsala, the former home of the king of Sweden. Now the governor of Uppsala lives here and there are also two museums in there. It's great to come up here to see the castle and also the view over Uppsala. You see the cathedral from here and the botanical gardens. So that's where I'm gonna go next. Make sure you visit them, they're free to enter. There's also a greenhouse. You do have to pay 50 kronas for that, but all the outside area is free to enter. Next up I'm visiting Biotopia. It is a permanent exhibition on the biodiversity of Sweden. Along with the museum there are also some working laboratories in there but the main focus is on the visitor experience. It shows you a few different dioramas about the nature surrounding Uppsala. It's quite calming in there and interesting and on top of that it's also free to enter. Just to give you some background, Carl Linnaeus was a teacher here in Uppsala and he was a famous botanist. And that's part of the reason why here in Uppsala there are so many things about plants and animals. Alright then, ending my visit to Uppsala there in the center of the city, having a nice stroll around the river and just taking in the calm atmosphere this city has. 
It's a very pleasant city, easy to visit from Stockholm as well, only a 30 minute uh, train ride. I also recommend you to visit Gamla Uppsala, which is just outside of the city. I went to see it the other day, but didn't go there. Today, it tells you a lot about the Viking history of this place. They've got a museum there and a beautiful outdoor area to walk around. So definitely also go and check that out. Other than that, there are many other museums to explore in the city. You can stay here two to three days, I would say. And of course, as with every place in Sweden, beautiful nature is not far if you head a bit outside of the city. But that's it for another travel vlog. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.